guys, what's going on? We're back here with a technique tip based on the individual design program you guys take a look at. Now, the day I segmented for you guys was a double session for an athlete looking to compete competitively, competitively with inside the sport of CrossFit. This person has the ability to do AM, PM sessions. Now, this is a day that falls at this point of the year with inside of that 20%, meaning these athletes, most of the time, 80% of the time, right now, I'm having them do lots of lesser intensity work. This day has to be a day where we're doing more intense work. Okay, so for that being said, the AM row session for this athlete is gonna be a pushing effort. We're gonna get into that lactate threshold realm because the rest of the day in the evening, when they come back a couple hours later, it's still gonna be semi-intense, but a little bit different feel, more of a neurological upper body fatigue standpoint. So you can see how I sequence that within inside the day. And that's really what I want you guys to take a look at. You can see how the AM sessions has row repeats for them because a rower is a machine that usually blows them up a little bit more. So I gave them a designated pace. I want them to hit for a shorter distance than a 500 because I want it to get to that tough realm but be a realm that they can still hang on to, rest in a designated time and then repeat it for the rep, amount of reps that I set forth. Now, when they come back in the afternoon, we're focusing on more some snatch work, some squat work. We have some rear delt um, pulling work to get those shoulder blades pulled back and down. And then the workout itself is what I call a CP or a battery upper body potential workout. Meaning, it's gonna be movements and reps focus for this person on their upper body in a way that's gonna be cause more fatigue and or build up so they can't really push the intensity due to being able to have to do the reps in an unbroken or systematic fashion, okay? And that's gonna cause more fatigue and build up for them. Now the movement I paired it with the last one of wall balls is there not so much from a squatting movement but to add more upper body fatigue so you can see the upper body, the shoulders, the lats, the triceps are gonna be smoked a little bit more for this person while they still have to complete the reps in a smooth, orderly fashion based on the fatigue factors that I'm projecting will be built up inside that workout. So here's a section for you, a competitive CrossFitter, double session, and this is why I did what I did. Enjoy, guys.